So I feel like the topic of setting boundaries has come up several times on my channel with relationships, right? Platonic, professional, romantic relationships. This idea of needing to set boundaries with people and it can be difficult to do so, uh, especially if you're like a people pleaser, but it's very important. And I was actually talking to a friend about this literally, I guess, two days ago. Uh, and then yesterday, this story that I'm about to share happened. And so it felt very full circle. So I went out to lunch and it was a light work day. So sometimes when I have a light work day, I'm like, I'm going to celebrate myself today and I'm going to, I'm going to have a nice lunch. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to have a drink. So I go to this Mexican restaurant. I even got chips and salsa. So I had like, you know, it was like a full, it was a full celebratory meal situation. As I'm waiting to get my food, this um, this guy that I recognize approaches me, walks up to me, he's like, oh, hey, nice to see you. I was gonna eat here as well. And to give you some context on this guy, he is someone, I think I actually talked about him in a previous video. He's somebody who I met from an app when I was newish here, I guess last year. I had tried to establish like a friendship because he lives in the neighborhood and I had like no friends at the time. Um, and there was like an awkwardness to him socially that I detected, which is not, you know, not, not a problem. Like you can still be friends with somebody who's a little awkward, but then that awkwardness turned into he was making advances that I was clearly not reciprocating and he wasn't getting it. Yeah, I think I made a video about this, about how then I learned that like he's been on apps, especially like Grindr nonstop since he was 18 and I, that was one of the things that prompted me to leave the apps because I thought, wow, am I becoming that person where it's like you almost forget how to um, pay attention to social cues in real life because your life is so digital and so device-based as opposed to interacting with people in the real world, right? So this was a guy that I had tried to befriend and, and then there was that awkwardness and then he was also really flaky and just kind of difficult and I, I just, we stopped really talking. So I'm seeing him now, right? And it's awkward because we're not really friends. It's just somebody you were kind of getting to know at some point. So really just an acquaintance at this point. But you know, I of course said, hi, nice to see you as well, blah, blah, blah. He goes in to get his food and then he comes back out and he's like, can I join you or do you want some solitude? He actually said the word solace. I think he meant solitude. In the moment, I was like, uh, <laughs> because I don't really feel like rehashing things. I don't really feel at this point like I have any interest in gaining his friendship. I also just really wanted to have lunch by myself. As I said, like enjoy my drink and just have a quiet, you know, lunch by myself. You know, when you have, when you run into people who you're not really friends with, it's like, you know that if you share a meal together, you're gonna have to do the small talk and invest that energy into potentially forcing a conversation. So in that split like second of needing to answer his question, uh, I realized I kind of don't want to spend time with you. I kind of just want to be by myself. And I said respectfully something like, you know, I, I do actually want some solitude. Uh, I've had a busy morning, um, hence why I'm, you know, enjoying a drink. So I gave an excuse to not make it, to hopefully not make him feel it's, something wrong with him or that I don't want to talk to him, but I really did just want my private space. And then of course he sat two tables down in my peripheral vision. So it's like the awkwardness is not totally over. By the way, there were many, many other options that he could have chosen from. He could have sat indoors. He could have gotten it to go. He could have sat farther away. There were many tables. The awkwardness lingered because he's still there. And I instantly felt very guilty that I kind of like shut down somebody from eating lunch with me. But then I thought, no, this is what I'm always telling myself, the importance of doing what you want to do as opposed to pleasing somebody who you don't even owe anything to. And now it's a year later, like I have, I don't need to invest anything in that, right? So talking about boundaries and doing what you want to do as opposed to just being a people pleaser. And I then sort of switched my mindset. I was like, no, that was cool. That in the moment I answered according to what I wanted as opposed to what somebody would want to hear and doing it in a respectful way. Now, if he hadn't asked, if he had just sat down, which I guess maybe would be weird because we don't have a, a friendship, but I wouldn't have told him to go away. I wouldn't have told him to leave. But in the end, I was really glad that I got to have my lunch by myself as I wanted. So baby steps, I would say, with, with setting boundaries and, and not 
hyper-focusing on just making other people happy. It's baby steps. <laughs>